Hello and welcome back to Thai Girl Talk with Mia from Learn to Speak Thai and Lonnie from Tell Thai Heart. Lonnie talking about time. Yes. I know that this topic is really, really confusing. Right. It's so different right. because I've learned time in Thai several times. I've just now started to get it. But to be honest, I just kind of convert everything to the way Westerners tell time. I don't use by mong. So how do you say if you want to say, okay, let's meet 3 p.m.? Oh, I just say, jirgan sam mong ka. Sam mong. Yes, that could work, Lani. You know why? Because it cannot be 3 in the morning. Right. So they, okay, it's 3 p.m. Since we talked about this, let's try my system. Okay. And today you're going to learn about time one more time. Imagine this, Lani. You're going through the time machine and I'm bringing you back to the past. Let's oh. say Thailand 100 years ago. So now you are in a small village. You know, in, in the old time, that's small village. They have to be able to tell time somehow. So that's a system of telling time without having a clock. Okay. Is to giving a sound alert. Different equipment used to give the time. Mm -hmm. Let's say right now it's midnight. Midnight, okay. everybody's sleeping. But someone is staying up to give the time. Now oh. it's, it changed to 1 a.m. in the morning. You will hear this sound. It sounds like you hit the metal. You know, like ding. Oh, like right, that right. Sound, that's why it's become T. T means to hit. T. T. Right. To, tau, sala, e. T. 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 So you hit one time, it's T1. You hit two times, it's T2. T2. T. To, tau, oh. lani. T2. T2. So T2 is 2 a.m. Someone is hitting the metal really, really softly. When I was young, I heard this sound. I think I was probably like five, six years old in a small village. That was less than 30 years ago. So every hour, T1, T2, T3, T4, then it's become 6 a.m. 6 a.m. In a temple, the monk is giving the time. Now it's the monk turn, okay? And he will hit the gong six times. Okay. But this time, the gong sound is mong. Uh -huh. So this become mong. So you call hok mong chao. Hok mong chao. Jet mong. Jet mong. Jet mong. You can just say jet mong, right? Without saying uh -huh. chao. Right, and chao means morning. Right, chao means morning. Yes. Okay. okay. You, you can leave out the chao. If the monk hit the gong ten times, what time uh -huh. is it? Sit mong ka. Chai ka di mak sit mong. Sit et mong eleven a.m. And here comes the midday. We call Tiang Wan. Tiang. Tiang Wan. Wan mean day. Mm -hmm. So midday. Midday. Mid of the day. Now it's become 1 p.m. We call bye. 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 Yes. Yeah, sound like goodbye, but you make it low tone. Bye. 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 Bye mean off center. Bye. If you say bye alone, mm -hmm. it's mean afternoon. And if you say bye, mong. By mong. By mong is 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. And guess what 2 p.m. is? By song. By song. And of course, by sam. By sam. And next is? Si mong ka. Oh, by si mong. It doesn't become evening until 5? Well, you know, there is no fixed rule for this. Some say mm -hmm. si mong yen. Yen mean evening. Okay. Some still say by si mo. By si, by si mo. Okay, and of course the confusion again at 5 p.m. You can say ha mo yen, or you can say by ha mo. Okay. Right, and 6 p.m. is hok mo yen. Hok mo yen. Then. So it's it's yes. really up to you then when you want to make it the evening. Right. At 7 p.m., of course, the telling time system, we used a really big drum. Oh. It, it's give the doom sound. Yeah, like uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's why it's become tum. 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 
Tum. Tum. For me, I think this is really confusing. The most confusing part is Tum, but it's become Nung Tum. Right, Nung Tum is 7 p- p.m. Exactly. So the way to remember is is consider as 6 p.m. It's zero. Okay. And so one hour after the zero point, which is 6 p.m., one hour after, so that's why it becomes Nung Tum. Nung Tum. And then Song Tum. Mm-hmm. And then all the way to 11 p.m. is... Ha Tum. Ha Tum. Chai Ka Ha Tum. And I only can remember that because I think if I'm up at 11, that's ha ha ha. I never stay up that late. Okay. I'm an old lady. I like to go to bed early. <laughs> and then, of course, midnight. Tiang Kun. Tiang Kun. Tiang Kun. Tiang Kun. I know it's a complicated subject and it might take some time for everybody to get their heads around. And you're not alone because when I was young and we learned this in school, believe me, I came back home and looking at the clock and oh my gosh. And then what? Even mm-hmm. even Thai people have problem when they t- learn about the time. Practice make perfect, right? The more yeah. you practice, the more you use it, eventually it will come naturally. So do you think Thais will ever move away from this old system of telling time with the sounds of the gong and the, the, drum. the drums? Or do you think they'll keep it? That's a good question. Well, Westerners um, use AM, PM. I don't know how many years since we start to learn English. We still haven't changed a bit about okay. the time. I'm not sure when. Maybe never. Okay. Yeah. So it's good to know. It's good to learn, especially if you want to make an appointment and you want to make sure that your Thai friends are showing up in the right time. But you know, if you speak AM, PM with a young generation, they can understand. So let's meet tomorrow. Sip mong. Sip mong. Even though you don't say the word chow. But it still refer to 10 a.m. Sip Mong Chao because 10 p.m. we call Si Tum. Si Tum. Yes, four hours after six o'clock. So, Si Tum. Si Tum. Mm-hmm. My goodness, amazing Thailand. And talking about time again. Yes. Some might say Thai time. It's okay to be a little late. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay. It's acceptable. But. Let's say if someone invites you to the wedding and they have a time. For this kind of ceremony, we really, really respect the time because we believe that this is the lucky time. Mm-hmm. You cannot miss it for a second. Yeah. If someone getting married, they go to the monk to get the lucky time. And okay, this is the time. If you arrive a little later, it's okay, but you're going to miss the really important part when they start the ceremony mm-hmm. and they won't wait. Yeah, this is the, a few occasions that tie really on time. That's yes. definitely good to know. Thank you for listening. If you have any comments or feedback, please feel free to leave it on the site. We'll see you next time. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. If you don't want to miss a lesson, please subscribe and click like to this video. I'll see you next time. Sawadee ka. Hello and welcome again to Thai Girl Talk with Mia and Lonnie. Okay, Lonnie, today it's episode three. Three. Counting. Okay. Okay, Lonnie, today I'm thinking I want to talk about thank you. Mm hmm. I'm sure you know. I'm sure a lot of people know how to say thank you in Thai. Yes, but since I'm talking into a mic, I'm forgetting. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Kop kun ka. Kop kun ka, that's right. Or kop kun krab if you are a man. Right? So, now actually, in Thai, we use kop kun. Kop kun. And we also have kop jai. Kop jai. That's right. So, what is the difference between these two? You use kop kun to someone that you... Um, respect. It's a lot. It's a lot about respect. 
mm -hmm. in Thai culture. So okay. you respect the person or you really deeply appreciate what they have done to you. So it's the higher, the level of thank you, it's higher. Okay. And with friends, for example, if my friends bring something to me, I say, oh, ขอบใจขอบใจ And friends or someone who younger than you. Ah. Ah. So yesterday, um, my daughter's neighbor, she's uh, seven years old. Mm -hmm. So she came over and she brings some uh, the flowers that she makes at at uh, from school. Oh. oh. She gave me the flowers. Mm -hmm. Now for me to say ขอ n that is not right at all. Oh. Okay. The girl will feel like. No, this is not appropriate. So yes, you too much. Exactly. ขอบใจขอบใจ You say yeah, the younger one. Yeah. Okay. Then, if you make um doing something wrong, and you want to say sorry. Sorry. Uh huh. You. Are, I'm sure you know how to say it. That's right. Oh, uh, ขอโทษค่ะ That's right. ขอโทษค่ะขอโทษค่ะอ๋อขอโทษครับขอโทษ Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. So all means the same thing. Exactly. All right. So you are, you are in a hurry, and you see people walking around, and you just need to go really fast, and then you say, "Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me." Say, "Tod ka, tod ka, tod ka." Tod ka, tod ka. That's right. Ka tod ka. Now they drop the call, of course. Yes, because in, they're in a hurry. In they're in a hurry, <laughs> and sometimes the spoken Thai, tod. โทษค่ะโทษครับโทษค่ะขอโทษค่ะ That's right Okay Then in the response of thank you or sorry in English you say you're welcome right Anything else like uh, Oh in response to, to Oh like, to thank you Thank you for example Yeah I think it's an American thing I don't think right. it's a Canadian thing Or like it's okay or never mind don't mention it Yeah, right, right. Those kinds of oh, it's things. okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In Thai, we say "ไม่เป็นไร ไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไรไม่เป็นไร You will hear this a lot. Mm -hmm. It's not only used for response to thank you. It could mean, for example, in a situation that you invite someone to the house, and you say, "Oh, please have a seat here." They was they will automatically say "my pen rai" first. It huh. just comes so fast that they don't even think about it. They just don't want to trouble you. So they want to stand. <laughs> they, they will stand even though they want to sit. Right, but, but they'll, they'll say "my pen rai." They will say "my pen rai." So even though they say "my pen rai," do it anyway. Sit. <laughs> ah. Okay. So "my pen rai" and also rai. with uh. Kotot, right? Kotot. Lani, I'm sorry today I come late. Kotot ka. My pen rai ka. And I'm looking at her like, her face doesn't look like it's not. I mean, it's okay. She she look really mad. But so, I'll say it anyways. You say it anyway. But of course, I know anyway that you know I I was late. So yes, I say kotot ka. We do this too. In in English, yeah, yes, we do. We'll often say, "Oh no, don't worry about it, no problem," right, right. but we're mad because we had to wait. <laughs> yeah, we do that too. How can we like, "Oh, I'm mad at you"? Exactly. Yeah, we're not going to say, "Well, at least you're here now." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the other response of k o p k u n and this is a different word. Yindi ka. Yindi. 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 Now, when you say "yindi," you really appreciate what they have done. You greatly appreciate it. It's similar to when you say "it's my pleasure." Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I say, uh, "Lani, I'm really, really appreciate." Kop kun mak mak ka. That's to help me, you know, today. And Lani say. Yindi ka. Yindi ka means she she grateful to help. And My pleasure, darling. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's 
it's better than ไม่เป็นไร mean ไม่เป็นไร it's it's okay no worries no big deal mm-hmm. you know but you say ยินดีค่ะ or ยินดีครับ mean I'm glad to help I'm I'm mm-hmm. glad to be helpful to you appropriate response exactly and you you will see this a lot in a Thai ceremony for example like um, wedding ceremony um, housewarming ceremony are they really call that I'm not sure. Like when someone moving to the new house and they they, they perform the ceremony with the monks and inviting guests. Yeah, my mom called it an open house, okay. but I know she was probably translating it from Thai, because it means different things in in English. That would mean like going to see a new house to buy. Ah, but we had an right, open right. house or housewarming uh-huh. to celebrate the new house being built. Okay, so housewarming should be a, a good way of uh, compare between housewarming and kun ban mai. Kun ban mai. Kun ban mai. Kun means you going up, physically going up. For example, like going up the stair, going up to the car. So you're going from bottom level up, even though even in escalator, elevator. Mm-hmm. Ban mean house, mai mean news. So you're moving in, okay? The new house. Yes. So what happened here is, of course, you in, invite a lot of people to your party, but the invitations always come in the envelope. Okay. Um, it could be pink if it's a wedding. So this envelope, when you open it, you will see, um, please. We invite you to come to celebrate the new house, and this day and these hours, you know, will will be a party and everything. So, and often they write the name in front. I mean, on the envelope itself. So you have yes, Lani Cox. Okay, this is for Lani, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so I've seen that. Thai. This is a Thai culture. You are required. To bring back this envelope, take out the invitation card inside. Yes. Bring back the envelope, but you have read the invitation. <laughs> not the empty envelope, though. <laughs> you need to put a little something in it, which flat, <laughs> which money. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. So you put a little money inside, so you actually contribute and help with the party. Yes. I um, noticed this when my mom threw a housewarming party in Lampoon. Um, mm-hmm. She told me to sit next to the bowl because I asked her, "What is inside the bowl? What's inside the bowl? Why do I have to sit next right. to the bowl?" And then I just like saw, you guarding it, right. right, right. And then I saw all these people bringing money. Uh huh. Sometimes they would have the envelopes, right, and sometimes they would just put just the, the money. money. But um, I was just so shocked. I was like, "Well, we're throwing the party. Right. Why are they giving us money?" Mm, that's right, and that's what we do in in Thai society, even now or before. Before in the old time, you might bring like um, rice, garlic. Depend on whatever you have. It doesn't have to be the form of cash or money. Mm-hmm. You Can just be food. exactly it could be food or drinks or anything that you make. Silk, if you your family makes silk, for example. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. So you always not. I mean, come with empty hand. You always have to find something that bring it. Even though you go to someone house, even just the small party, just get together dinner. Right. right, you should bring something. You bring something a little small thing. It doesn't have to be, you know, expensive. So they will say, k o b k u n ka," and then your response, m y p e n r a i ka." m y p e n r a i ka. And of course, they will say, "Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to bring anything." But they appreciate if you bring something. Yes. And same thing with this housewarming ceremony, which um, you return with the envelope. And I have a story to tell. Um, when I was young, I I've seen my mom. She's yes, like I said, you have the name of the person on on the envelope, right? Mm-hmm. So when they return the envelope, yes. you know how much to give. Oh, <laughs> exactly. And she will write down the name of the person and how much this person. Oh gave. dear, really? And I like Mama keeping track. <laughs> I know. Even though I'm like, Mom, why? 
because this is what she said. She said because if they have a party, we will compensate in the appropriate amount. Right. Yeah. Or more. <laughs> Or more. Or right. More right. Than what they give. So this is the support culture here. People help out each other in mm-hmm. Thailand, and that's a pretty really strong part of Thai culture as well. So. Um, yeah, I'm not sure mm-hmm. if that's. Um, If that's just an if that's an Asian thing in general, mm-hmm. because there's a lot of Asians in Hawaii, so I was always told to bring something to a party, right. and there are times where I won't go to a party because I have nothing to bring. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes. Well, always if you're visiting a Thai house or seeing a Thai friend, always bring something. Bring small. something. Yes. So depends. Um, if you're just friend, you can bring a little thing, or if you are in a relationship, you can bring. A little bigger things. <laughs> It's up to you. Yeah. But yeah, just a little that you show them that you have, you they are on your mind. You have thought of them, and you you happy to see them. Yes, and you're happy to contribute because I think the idea is the next time they will contribute to you. Right. So it's this reciprocal relationship. Exactly. Okay, guys. I'm sure you have enjoyed our podcast, and until the next podcast. Today it's time to say goodbye. Oh, oh! It's just 15 minutes. We seem like we can talk for an hour. <laughs> well, well, let's take a break here. And again, if you have any comments or suggestion, please feel free to leave it on the on our blog. Yes. Okay, and be right. really sure to answer it. Okay, Open Maika. Open Maika. Take care. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ